Hello students, we will start with the sixth chapter in science that is measurement of physical quantities. Now do you know what are quantities? Quantities such as mass, weight, distance, speed, temperature, volume, all of these are called as the physical quantities. Now we all use these quantities in our day to day life. We say that we walked for 10 kilometers. This is nothing but we are saying that we walked for 10 kilometers which is nothing but the distance. We say that this bag is of 5 kgs. That means we are talking about its weight. We are talking about the mass. We talk about the temperature. We say it is very hot. Today it may be around 34 degrees Celsius or 40 degrees Celsius. So that means we are talking about the temperature. We say about the volume. We talk about many of these quantities. We talk about inches and all of this thing. So these things are called as the physical quantities. Now, whenever we are talking about the physical quantity, a value and a unit are expressed and the magnitude is called as the physical quantities. For example, if I say that Radha walks for 3 kilometers every day, so that means what? 3 is the value and the kilometers is the unit and it is expressed in the magnitude of distance we are talking about the distance so this is the physical quantity distance is the physical quantity so radha is walking for two kilometers so that means it is the uh, distance which is nothing but the physical quantity so in this way we use physical quantities to measure things we talk about physical quantities in our day-to-day -day life now children, these physical quantities that we talk about, those can be of two types. First is called as the scalar quantity and the second is called as the vector quantity. Let's talk about scalar and vector quantities now. So if I have to define a scalar quantity, so a scalar quantity is that it can be expressed by its magnitude alone. So only when the magnitude is expressed, for example, in length, breadth, area, mass, temperature, density, time, work, all of this we only express the magnitude. At that time, it is called as the scalar quantity. Next is the vector quantity. Now, the quantity that is expressed completely only when a magnitude and a direction are given. Then it is called as the vector quantity. For example, the weight. So now, for example, if I say that the length of this pipe is 4 kilometers. So that means what? We are talking about the length which is in kilometers. That means we are only expressing the magnitude. We are not talking about the direction. But if I say that a girl is walking and the displacement that took place was of 30 kilometers, towards the south so that means what 30 kilometers is also mentioned and south is also mentioned like direction is also given ke wo ye direction mein ja rahi hai. that means the direction is also given and the magnitude is also given so this is called as the vector quantity so in scalar quantity only the magnitude will be given like for example 4 kilometers 5 kilometers uh, 3 degree celsius or fahrenheit and all those things and in vector quantity, the magnitude will also be given, for example, 2 kilometers and the girl is walking for 2 kilometers towards east. So that means direction bhi de diya unhone. 5 kilometers toward west. So they are giving the direction also. So then it is called as the vector quantity. Let's talk about different quantities. First is mass. Do you know what is mass? The amount of matter, to be matter hai, the amount of matter which is present in the substance is called as the mass. Here if you will see in this diagram, so in the first picture when you will see the matter which is there here, now this is nothing but molecule. So here if you will count there are only 5 molecules. So this will have less mass. But here if you will see there are so many molecules that means it will have more mass. So the 
अमाउंट ऑफ मैटर जितना मैटर प्रेजेंट होगा द सेम वे इन दी सब्सटेंस दैट विल बी दी मास ऑफ दैट सब्सटेंस now mass it is a scalar quantity we have already talked about scalar and vectors so mass is a scalar quantity also mass remains same everywhere on the earth whether you go on the mountain your mass will be same whether you go inside the tunnel your mass will be same wherever you go on the earth your mass will always remain constant now for example when you are going in a shop you are using two pan balance so why we use that balance so that we can calculate the mass of the substance so mass is nothing but the uh, scalar quantity and also that the uh, mass will be greater in the substance in which the matter is more also mass has the natural tendency to withstand a change in its state and this is called as the inertia from one state to the other state it has to change so it it can withstand it and mass is a qualitative measurement of inertia of any object the greater the mass the greater is the inertia second physical quantity is the weight now the gravitational force that acts on the mass is called as the weight so we have the gravitational pull in the earth so why we can walk properly so that is because of the gravitational force so the gravitational force that acts on the mass is called as the weight and it is also a vector quantity and weight changes from place to place on the earth if you will go on the mountains on the top then your weight will be different on the ground your weight is different because as you are going above the ground the gravitational pull is losing and as you are on the ground you are attached to the ground your gravitational pull is there so that is why the weight differs as per you go to different places the next is the standardized measurement now why standardized measurements are necessary because if i tell you that measure a particular area and use your hand to measure it now the size of your hand and my hand is different if i use my hand to measure the table or something else so the size will be different of my hand so that calculation will be different then you will use your hand and you will measure so your calculations will be different so that is why so that we do not get any errors we have a proper standardized measurement like we have feet to measure we use mass we have weights different type we use kilometers meters centimeters all of these are the standardized measurement so if you have to define standardization so it is the process of checking things against a standard measurement from time to time and this is called as the standardization and standardized measurements are required for measuring thing and such measures are called as the standard units we always use a standard unit for example i say the cgs system or mks system so all of these are standard units which are already set by someone and we have to use those units only you can't use your hands pens you can't use your hands or full legs to measure something you cannot use your own measurements to measure something you if you have to measure something you have to use the standardized units only so these are called as the standard measurements which are already available like centimeters meters these are all standard measurements to avoid errors now there are quantities which are accepted by everyone like the units of quantities like length and time these are needed for the standardization so these are called as the fundamental quantities and the units are called as the standard units and these are accepted by everyone uh, standard fundamental unit which is there it should be available to all everyone uses the same units we do not use different units because these are the fundamental quantities and all of this it is not variable because we all use the same quantities only and so these are called as the fundamental quantities 
now there is an international system of units now this is also called as the metric system and ye all over the world everyone uses this units only and so it is called as the international system of units matlab ki sari jagah pe hum log yahi units use karenge chahe tum kidhar bhi jao but you'll have to use these units only so an international system of units it is based on seven fundamental units so sare seven fundamental units ko मिला के एक जो बनता है कॉल्ड सिस्टम इंटरनेशनल यूनिट सो फॉर एग्जांपल क्वांटिटीज लाइक लेंथ मास एंड टाइम विल टॉक अबाउट दी थ्री ओनली सो द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट फॉर लेंथ वी यूज मीटर्स एंड द सिंबल इज एम मास वी कैन मेजर इट बाय यूजिंग किलोग्राम द यूनिट इज किलोग्राम द सिंबल इज के टाइम इज सेकेंड द सिंबल इज एस सो ऑल दिस विल बी सेम all over the world and everywhere these units will only be used so this is called as the si system that is system international internationally these units will only be used along with the system international we also have the mks system and cgs system so what is mks system mks system in this system the distance is measured in meters mass is measured in kilograms and time is measured in seconds so agar aapko distance measure karna hai mks mein to aap meters mein measure karoge mass you will measures in kilogram and time you will measure in second in cgs system if you have to measure so if you are measuring distance so it is measured in centimeters so we will say 3 centimeters 4 centimeters mass is measured in grams we will say 4 grams 5 grams 10 grams and time is measured in seconds only like 10 seconds 20 seconds 60 seconds 120 seconds and so on if we talk about the unit the unit of velocity is meter per second and the unit of area is square meters in mks system and in cgs system the unit of velocity is centimeter per second and unit of area is square centimeters kyunki yahan pe length meters mein tha that is why it is square meters and kyunki cgs mein it is in centimeters so that is why it is in square centimeters it changes according to whatever the length is there in the mks and cgs and si system we have already talked about that length is meter kilogram and second more si systems are there but here we are only talking about the three that is length mass and time now why it is important to measure these units correctly now for example if you are measuring gold and silver so these measurements should be proper it should be very accurate because agar isme mistake ho gaya so that means you are losing something precious to you so measurement of substances that are precious or are of great importance and these can be used these methods can be used accurate measurements can be used so that there are no errors and also due to advancement in technology there are various devices which are coming day by day where we can measure also a very very small quantity like you can measure the small quantities of mass time temperature which can be measured very easily with those technologies now for example distance and time uh, is in connection with very important of sport competition in a sports everyone is running and if we do not have proper measuring equipments if we do not have proper measurements then how we will going to come to know who is going to win that that person has completed this amount of distance in how much time so these accurate measurements are required and also for checking the temperature for checking the temperature of our body for the temperature of the environment so for all of this the accurate measurements are required so that is the reason why the uh, measurements are so important now children there might be some errors in the measurement when we do not use the device properly when we are not using the uh, appropriate device for example if we have to measure the time we need to use a proper watch if we are not using it properly if we don't know how to use it then errors can occur so for example when you are going to buy grocery or you have you are going to buy the vegetables in the market you should always look for few things like for example you should always check the balance 
it should carry the stamp of standardization of the departments and the weights and measurement the weights the vegetable sellers they use no to put on those balance so they should have the stamp of standardization so all of this it reduces the errors in measurement also whenever you are going out to buy something see that the balance should be stable it's not there something this usually they put magnet or all something inside below the balance so you should check that the balance is stable and the pointer of the balance should also be upright so all of this you should check whenever you are going to buy something and the weight that they are using it should be also made up of metals and it should have that standardization that stamp should be there of 1 kg 2 kg 3 kg they should not use stone or something else to weigh the measurements and also there should not be any changes in the underside of the pan usually on the underside many thing many changes are done so those changes should be avoided and you should check and these are the uh, things the rules on regulations how a balance should be there so that the measurements are proper the standardization of measurements are followed the rules are followed so this was all in the chapter measurement of physical quantities we talked about mass which is nothing but the amount of matter which is present in any substance we talked about inertia which is the matter and has neutral tendency to resist the change in the state we talked about weight that is the gravitational force that act on the mass we talked about the physical quantities we talked about standardization the errors we talked about what is the standardization errors and why the need of accurate measurements are required